Where are the best neighborhoods in Palm Desert? If you're wondering, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Brandy, your desert area realtor, and welcome back to my channel where we talk all about what it's like living in the Palm Springs area. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and hit that little bell so you'll be notified every time I do a new video. Palm Desert is one of my favorite cities in the Coachella Valley because it's considered the city center. So you're a short distance from Palm Springs and also La Quinta, Indio, and Coachella. There are so many things to do in Palm Desert and that's why it's very family friendly and you can surely find a neighborhood here that fits your lifestyle. Palm Desert is sectioned into three main parts, south, north, and east. Let's check out some really great neighborhoods here in Palm Desert. First, let's check out South Palm Desert. South Palm Desert is where you will find single family homes, condos, and apartments. You will also find uber luxury homes here in upscale communities where you will need to contribute a good amount of money to become members. Most can be described as private communities inside private clubs, and they include Bighorn Golf Club, The Vintage, The Reserve, Ironwood Country Club, just to name a few. These private communities have multi-million dollar homes that line the curving rugged mountain lines along the streetscapes. Because of the privacy and security these communities provide, this area is home to many celebrities like Bill Gates, Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn, and her daughter, Kate Hudson. One of the most unique communities in Palm Desert is the Marrakesh Country Club. Here you will find single family residences ranging from 600,000 to just over 1 million. What makes this community so different is that all of the homes here, including the club, are pink. In fact, the rules and regulations of the Homeowners Association documents will not allow you to change the color of the home, so you better like the color pink if you want to live inside this community. The community was designed by John Elgin Wolf, who brought his theatrical Hollywood Regency stylings to the desert in 1978. The Homeowners Association dues for this community are about $1,100 a month. And that covers so many amenities like bocce ball courts, tennis courts, picnic areas, lakes and ponds, 14 pools, a fitness center, clubhouse, guard gate security, and a Ted Robinson championship golf course. Now let's check out Kawea Hills. It's an unincorporated community in South Palm Desert. Unincorporated areas are not governed by local municipal corporations, therefore homeowners here don't have to abide by city guidelines, so Airbnbs and VRBOs are very popular. You are going to find some of the most unique homes here, like ones that are shaped like a dome, ones that look like a dollhouse, and some that are built into the mountain ledge. The majority of the homes here are considered estates because the homes sit on one to three acres of land. The homes typically don't come to market under a million dollars. It's a great area if you're looking for an investment property and have that kind of money to spend. Here in South Palm Desert, you will find all sorts of different architectures when not inside a gated community, like older contemporary homes and modern homes, even new construction. And the prices can range anywhere from 400,000 to $3 million. One of my favorite communities is Silver Spur Ranch. It's a non-gated community where the HOA dues are very low, around $300 a month. Older homes have been recently renovated and remodeled to reveal architecture you thought only existed in Palm Springs. Very mid-century modern, hip, fun, and you're surrounded by mountains. President Kennedy visited this community during his stay, among others like Bing Crosby and Phil Harris. It's also fun to note that some homes and condos are within walking distance to El Paseo, which is widely considered the mini version of Rodeo Drive with high-end shopping, dining, and art galleries. Even if you're not within walking distance of El Paseo, it's a very short drive and it's very convenient. It's also pretty common to see golf carts driving up and down El Paseo. Now, if we go check out the very north part of Palm Desert, this is where you will find some of the newest communities like the Gallery and Genesis. To give you some perspective, the drive between the far north and far south Palm Desert is about 10 minutes, give or take, with traffic. Let's take a peek at Genesis. Genesis is a gated community of mid-century contemporary homes. You'll find two to four bedroom homes ranging $600,000 to about $900,000. And the square footage can be about $1,600 to just about $2,700. They have two parks within the community and even an on-site dog park for my fellow dog lovers. 
the homeowners association dues for this community are low, around $150 a month. Next up is the gallery, which is very close and is also a gated community. Inside this community, you will find single family homes featuring three to five bedrooms, ranging from 600,000 to just over 1 million, with the homeowners association dues running about $175 a month. Both Genesis and the gallery are very close to commercial shopping like Costco, Walmart, and Home Depot. It's also a hop, skip, and a jump from the I-10 freeway if you need to be able to get out of Dodge quickly. There are also new home developers building at University Park just across the street. If you're a golf enthusiast, neither of these communities will be what you're looking for because you won't be finding golf courses here. But trust me, the desert has plenty of golf communities to satisfy the most avid golfer. Now let's head down Monterey Avenue, which is one of the busiest roads here in the desert. You're going to come across Monterey Country Club. Monterey Country Club offers a 27 hole championship golf course, full driving range for enhanced practice sessions, short game practice area, which includes putting green and a pro shop. Unlike other private clubs, you can easily purchase a membership inside this community, even if you aren't a homeowner. Other features include 15 tennis courts, a swimming pool and exercise facility, and a spectacular clubhouse. This community offers only condominiums ranging from 400,000 to about 700,000 for an updated unit. The homeowners association dues run about $570 a month to $680 a month. Now let's go a little further east and check out Palm Desert Country Club. Palm Desert Country Club is where we'll find a lot of families. It's a non-gated community that has homes, condos, and apartment living. They do have a public course that's considered one of the best public courses in the Coachella Valley. It's a great central location and you're close to pretty much everything. I lived in this community for a few years and I loved it. The community features a park, playground area, basketball courts, beach volleyball court, dog parts, and a clubhouse. The price for a single family home here can be very reasonable and can start around $365,000 for a 1,300 square foot home. If you're looking for more square footage and bedrooms, expect to pay about $530,000 for a home in this community or about $600,000 for an updated home with a pool. It's one of the less expensive communities because the homeowners association dues are relatively low for most properties at about $35 a month. Now let's check out Desert Falls Country Club, which is a gated golf community less than 10 minutes from Palm Desert Country Club. It consists of nearly 900 residential properties, including condos and single family homes, with some luxury custom estate homes as well. This community was established in 1988 and has grown in popularity because its amenities, like incredible mountain scenery and and an enjoyable 18-hole championship course, which many consider the best course in the desert. In fact, the course earned a four-star rating from Golf Digest Best Places to Play based on course condition, rate of play, staff, and overall value. There are eight lighted tennis courts, four pickleball courts, and 32 pools and spas as well. The condos are two to three bedrooms and can range from the low 300s to just over 600,000, with the square footage being from anywhere from 1,300 to 2,200 square feet. The single family homes can be three to four bedrooms and can range from $450,000 for a 2,000 square foot home or 1.9 million for a 4,100 square foot custom lakefront home. The homeowners association dues here can range from $400 to $600 per month, depending on the type of property. Next up is a stone's throwaway community called Spanish Walk. It's a very popular community and inside here you'll find affordable townhomes and condos featuring two to four bedroom homes with floor plans ranging in size from 1,400 square feet to 2,400 square feet. This community is very affordable with ranges in the mid 400s to the mid 500s. The homeowners association dues here are reasonable at $228 a month. And the amenities include a clubhouse, billiard room, a fitness center, children's playground, community pool and spa, grassy green belts, barbecues, picnic area, and so much more. It's a very family friendly community, which makes it very popular. Palm Desert is a great place to visit, live, or retire to. And it has so much much to offer. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. I would love to make your experience as smooth as possible. Now be sure to watch my next video about the top three things to do in Palm Desert. Thanks for watching.